show you, right? We are the GCSE Music Teachers. I am Mrs Brown. And I'm Miss Lyra. And we teach AQA GCSE Music, which is split up into three parts. You've got theory, performance and composition. So the course is three years long, but the first year in year nine is much more of a collaborative, practical year group. And we have uh, lots of different topics. Some of the topics we go into depth um, with are blues, film music, battle of bands, reggae, a uh, ukulele project, so lots of different topics to go into. So then in year 10 is when we start really concentrating on our coursework. So the coursework is worth 60%, so 30% is performance and 30% is composition. And we start making a portfolio of both of those. So um, you'll have multiple performances, multiple compositions, which we will mark and then send off the best ones. We also start going to depth into some of more of our GCSE topics theory wise. Um, we've also got some set works that we need to study. Um, so we've got Mozart's clarinet concerto and a few pieces from the musical Little Shop of Horrors as well. Although we work on performance and composition throughout years 10 and 11 to build up portfolios in both areas, um, the theory portion of the um, course is examined with the listening exam at the very end of year 11, which is worth 40% of your overall grade. So this listening exam is an hour and a half long. You'll have some short listening questions to answer on various different genres of music that we studied throughout the course. Um, and then a few longer questions at the end of the paper. You'll be listening to a CD the entire time and answering questions on what you hear. So now that we have explained what GCSE music entails, you need to think, is it right for you? So if you enjoy listening to a variety of different genres of music um, outside of school and in school, then it might be for you. If you enjoy performing or you enjoy playing with music technology and have access to these things at home or happy to do it at school outside of lessons, then yes, it could be for you. Um, or if you enjoy working collaboratively in small groups and pairs, we do lots of that, especially in year nine. Uh, and finally, uh, having instrument lessons. You don't have to have instrument lessons, um, but we have seen a correlation with those people that do take instrument lessons always seem to get high grade, especially in the performance part, which remember is 30% of the course. So now that you've listened to all of this, hopefully we will be seeing you in September doing GCSE music with me, Mrs. Brown. And me, Miss Ivers. Bye.